Greetings mortals, I am Natus, one of the rulers of the underworld, or specifically the ruler of Mongo Hell. And today we will be reacting to the newest chapter of Welcome to the Demon School, Iomakun. Chapter 236, S O S. I guess there are gonna be more updates than last week's. Ah, fine. Whatever, whatever makes a chapter better, in my opinion. And then, and the. Uh, it's probably gonna be a more interaction chapter. Like I even thought it was gonna be a more interaction chapter, so it's probably gonna be an interaction chapter. So anyways, then we get the announcer. I'm not sure if that's like the announcer for the dunk who's doing the doing in charge of the students or the ones who is just in general broadcaster. It's like sixty minutes have passed since the start of the exam. These three teams have been eliminated. Team Sharks, as we see the Sharks and, and his two students be like mm, with puppy faces. Team Valak, as we see them still being dragged by that plant. And team person who will, who probably enough I probably have like the best reactions with two of them being happy as the other is like a as person just being nude. I guess they are getting along pretty well. I mean the two that I guess it's it's sad to say this one is good. As they have fifteen minutes remain. And we should as we see um silly I'll be like, ah is it still covered? Fifth well, thirteen minutes for the three teams. Okay, that's actually very dangerous because you know, you know they are. I mean, they have only ten remaining, but yeah, this is probably gonna be a, this is gonna be a problem. But we will see. I think this is. I wonder if the actually the other teams are actually gonna be so quickly eliminated. It was probably supposed to. It's probably supposed to just be to show off threat level a bit more. It's usually show among most volume things in manga have this threat thing with threat volumes where they actually take very long. For the threat to actually establish itself. But yeah. So anyways, then we have as much be like, three teams are already out. As we see, I'll be like, eep! Scary! <laughs> Wait, this guy by like this child. And then we have Zena be like, hmm. In other words, since both our balloons are intact, we are super amazing! As expected of me, Zena. <laughs> as they're like, ah! As they have, as supposed be like, always oh, an optimist, aren't you? Are you talking about Zelaf or Sylvia? But yeah, I guess it's kind of true. Oh, to be fair, you didn't seem to interact with any teacher, so you could take that as the reason why. So anyways, then we have... A small thing to himself. Still, teams are being eliminated faster than I expected. They lost in such... As if all he's as well as being this serious and thinking to himself, we have like in the background, they be like, A beautiful flower for a beautiful flower. As they have Sylvia like, where were you keeping this? <laughs> Alright, well at least he's being charming to Sylvia. So anyways, then we have this must be like a short time. As he remembers, remembers Clara is like, I'll do my best. As the small starts to blaze, I guess of anger. And she's like, wow! As small is like, that must mean that our enemies are taking this seriously. Eh, 50-50, I would say. Well, the thing is, person's team shouldn't have been eliminated because, you know, the teacher of, I think some that teacher that's it's it that's unclear if she if it's a she or a he said that he was always supposed to pop one balloon, balloon or something, or one balloon. So it's kind of more like it was just so I think it should only be two teams. Would that only be a surprise hit for? For the both of them ones actually funny, uh, just funny enough. With club in the other team, I would say makes sense. And then we have as well as things myself. Oh, say it loud, actually. You must have maybe in danger. And then we have as he said, starts to walk. And then we have so like going there and grabbing his cloak to push him back. As there as much well as being like, what? As there so like, you can't go. My brother told me to do whatever it took you. To stop you, if you try to help Yuma Senpai, as they say, uh, there's like, this very cute panel where she's also kind of blushing. It as this actually, which if that reminds me correctly, I think this is what I think this is. I think the whole um, that hunt they had, uh, that whole you know that whole special event they had where they you know were chasing and had to uh, keep their supplies and stuff, and then. Is as small as like went to Yuma and got himself eliminated because he had to because he was helping Yuma. Or no, I think it was because he harmed a contestant. As did 
is there we have uh, I don't know that I think that's supposed to either be Asmonius or Silver be like that moron because you know it's true like he ran off got himself eliminated so if he did so that to her he's like oh no he's gonna run away again and get us eliminated because of it and they have a sort of like side really like brother like sister huh well not exactly it's more that she's just more like she's just you know very she's like a very happy sister who you know follows his big brother so yeah, then we have a specific, no need to worry, I'm not thinking of dropping out of the exam to go to Iruma's summer site. My top priority right now hasn't changed, it remains, as it makes like a flame, as he's like, he makes like a big kind of firewall between the two, between them, it's like, protecting you two, stay back. I guess someone's approaching. Although I am gonna find the actual go with this, like, I was expecting to make a joke about how, like, Asmodi, like Siva is kind of like the Asmodeus for Cl for Cl Chima, as as more as it's for Iuma. Like I was thinking this is gonna be the thing they're going, but they're actually not. Kind of surprising. Although they might still do it at some point. This arc, like I could easily see like the end of the arc being like this thing where like Iuma Sama, you know, you have some your you have something on your cheek as uh, she was like. Chima, you have, you have, you have some jewel on the, the your uh, cheek or something like that. I could see something like that happening. As then we have more as be like something's coming, and we have like a big pile of something stopping the ground. Is there uh, Zenf actually like trying to put Silver back? Surprising is, as there's like that's oh no actually that's Silver. It's like that's as we see uh, the. The female that was with Columbia, like, please save me, I beg you! Crying and running. <laughs> Is that what the teachers as all three of them are like, eh, eh, eh? <laughs> and then we have the woman and crying, and she's like, that's not. A and, oh, actually, that's probably that was so, Like, that's not a teacher, it's a girl! Does he refer to teachers as women there? Because they are female teachers. Like, he is aware of that, right? <laughs> Which does make me oh, what's he gonna do against them? Is that like run? Is he this? And she's like running. Is this about something smoking? I was like, so something. As then we have, uh, I guess, Celia because she seemed to have recognized her. And she's like, Lady Fene, Mariane from Class 1A. Lady Fene, right? And then she's like, What's wrong? Is this, uh, Lady Ma per what was, uh, what was her name again? Like, I just said it, but I can't even remember it. Oh, these names are gonna kill me. I tell you, I need a book for this kind of It's like, uh, Lady Fene, right? And this, and this lady friend is there like, eh, help me, ah! And then she says, Zenef, and as then Lady Fenef sees Zenef, and as well as like, ah! And she's like, charmed by her very presence. And then we have Lady Fenef is like, my eyes, the beauty, it's too much! And then she's like, ah, are you okay? And then, and then we have, again, is Zenef probably the maid of the, this school? Because she refers to Lady Fenef as Lady Fenef, for God's sakes. As then we have a lady friend be like, too much eye candy! Which is actually what Sarah did also say. Like, she's on a visually striking team. As the boys are like, eye candy? Why is Zenef shocked by it? Shouldn't he have already been called that by a few times? As then we have uh, be like, what happened to your teammates? As then we have a friend be like, alright, oh, I'm in pursuit! Is that like, by the enemy? Yes, just look at that thing! It's better like, looks at, and then we see Clyde be like, My lady, it's dangerous to go alone! And like, starts on the floor, the floor as the other girl's like, Wait, you damn bird! And she strikes with her wind sword, as the Clyde's in like, No, come and hide! In your senpai's feathery embrace! And then there's more, there's like, so much of fire to Clyde burning him, ah! And then we see Clive Bird on the floor, like, uh, you know, being with the apologetics, the position is like, shh. As Mario's like, shh, what do you think you're doing? As Clive's like, all I wanted was to get really, really close with the first years as their senpai, and. And then as Mario's like, be like, enough, I get the gist. As then. So, anyways, then we have a small be like, um. How should I put this? You can't beat him up if he annoys you. You can't. So try to get along. Wait, so they're 
I guess he didn't know. I guess he didn't. Uh, wasn't aware of that. I mean, I mean, the other chick was trying to beat him up as well. I mean, it was what I meant to do. He just tried to too fast behind Fennet for her to actually hit him. Oh, by the way, while we they are talking, the girl with a sword, with a wooden sword, is being given a flower by Zenef. All right. So they are like, bye. It's both kind and Fennet are like, no, well, Fennet is like, wait. As if Fennet is like, as if we have Fennet like holding as much by his coat. He's like, please don't go. Please remain by our side a, a little longer. I'll be beseech. I'll beseech you. Please. Wait, what does beseech me again? Ah, who cares? And then it's like deja vu. And she was like, uh, because that's what she did a bit. It's like she's sobbing. It's like, if it's like, just in minutes, no, five minutes will be enough. Is there the other female, then that I'm guessing her retainer. And then we get her name, guy called her the Fennis Retainer. Then Fennis Retainer be like, we would feel safe for working with your team, as more dear senpai. And then someone's like, but. And then we have Silva be like, I don't mind. The more the merrier, and we'll have twice the firepower. Uh, from what I've seen of Fen and Klein, I don't think they're the fighters. I mean, the the Fennis Retainer might be, but I don't know. Although to be fair, Sarah does know Fen and her Retainer from what it seems to be implied. So maybe they are fighters both, but it seems like only her Retainer is. Although four fighters does make sense. Uh, I mean, uh, Sui Zen is a fighter. I mean, see if I apply that she can fight, but, uh, but yeah. I, so, I think we have the first bit like, well, not, we have Zen of being like, I also don't mind. No man would scowl upon receiving yet more beautiful flowers. Fene and her retainer, of course. They were very big. Well, as Clyde's like, well said. I guess you two gotta get along well when it goes to females, which is fine because Clyde's a pervert. They were gonna be like, oh my, as he's trying to help her up. Is there a response to be like, you guys are bounding over that now? <laughs> so yeah, that's a bit funny. So I guess there we have a response to be like, but moving in a big group will make us easier targets. So teaming up isn't the best idea. As Lady Fanny is like, ah! As they're the announcer, and but buzzer is being like, Kish. ding dong, everyone, this is an urgent announcement from Exam HQ. Transmission started, click. So yeah, then we see a uh, you know camera thing, as if we have us boys in a military outfit, <laughs> fan service. Well, not really. It's not. It's actually not really all that fan service. Just the generic business attire, honestly. So is there's, I is there be like to all thirteen misfits. Good job on your mission thus far. We were him there, so you mean ten misfits. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, you to tell you this, but we have an emergency. The box shit with pairs. Playing the role of the Misfits commander as an Armelia. As then we have like, uh, you know, the guys from the, then we have the guys from uh, the, you know, our group, the, the student council, as, they, as we have like, it is like funny, tacky, key space uh, gun with the guy that, I think his name is Grave or something, no, not Grave, I think, no, Smoke, I think is the female one, I think this guy's name is Grave. Then we have the other guy who's like, kind of like the goofy one from the group. Is that like the the plot? <laughs> Referring to the whole movie thing they were going with. And the guy was like, This is a waste of the budget. So the plot is basically our reconsistence team managed the, to infiltrate the Bubble Teacher's hideout. And they 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 undercovered a disc a destiny scheme. And then we have I think this is supposed to be smoke being like, you guys look good there. As they have grave and they all gotta be like, ah oh, smokes. Although, wait, was the guy the other guy, the guy with the moustache, uh, or the beard? I don't know. And then we have the, 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 the plot like, we've learned that the teachers are planning to use their hearts to get them to awaken a super powerful monster. Indeed, it is none other than the, blah, the great beast, Suleiman. As we see, he was grandpa there. As he's like, he is the leader of Babylon's teachers and the strongest amongst them. Wait, he's gonna be the final wave? Really? So as then we see the announce, the actual announcer gonna be like, "Eee, they actually beat him." We see Gob and his two heads, his co-eyes for fighting. Ew, my shock! As Glass, she was supposed to try to strangle Vine. And other will be like, "Oh fuck us!" Uh, Elizabeth and her, uh, one of her twins, I think. I think that twins, her co-eye, is like the principal. The, the principal, as we see as. Uh, 
as we see, so I'm not holding his too high because they're so small. Like, they're basically his chil like children, honestly. And the funny thing is that the other guy is actually still ha having a smile on him. <laughs> so, anyways, then we see a little bit of a scientific lap. We even put like, where the lap count, honestly. I wonder if he's gonna participate with Balam and Caligo. And then we have, uh, you know, as may I say, According to our intel, Sullivan lies dormant in the principal's office. To put a stop to this plan, I want you all to try to reach the device that contains him. Once there, four of, of you must pour your mana into it. Doing so will cause the device to malfunction. Kaboom! As we have like a visualize, isn't like the, the device, boom, and then... <laughs> to prevent Sullivan from awakening. I'm guessing that's not gonna be the case. I'm guessing it's gonna be something like last minute with Black Clover, where technically they did with uh, Sullivan still awake in the last minute. So yeah, then we have her like striking a pose, like, no, you need to at least four people. That's right. This is a joint operation, but use crush and lock. Larger groups will make easier targets. So basically, like, now you're forced to team up, basically, and all that stuff. So yeah, also we get a bit of a struggle of pose, but yeah, that's nothing. So then we see Cla, Cla not Cla, Kushela and one of her members, Alado Al with one of his members and Jazz. Because we don't see his Kohai because they're very small. I think they're like, I think they're like, you know, those they're kind of like like egg shape, honestly. If my memory serves me correctly. So we see them also reaction because now they the plan changed from just hiding the teachers out the whole time comes to you know actually need to do stuff. So they were gonna be like, we'll call this operation SOS Seal of Sullivan. Oh, so it's not normal SOS, it's just like a action type of the mission. Seal of Sullivan. It is you have saying, accept or refuse. This mission is at your own discretion discretion. The time limit is 20 minutes. I wish you all luck over and out. So yeah, it's over. Oh my, God, I'm getting. As then we have the ding dong. I'm kind of surprised it wasn't a little joke about me. I'd be like, also, I would like to request that all women stay away from Ioma Sama and talk together this mission. This is also a very important mission. Do not let Ioma be next to women, namely the annoying little. Namely, my the little new, first uh, Chima and that new teacher Shida. Those two have to be away from him at all cost. Surprised there's not that kind of a joke here. I mean, I guess you can play the part well enough. But yeah, maybe we're gonna see in the next chapter or something. Then we have Sullivan be, Sullivan be like, the, the principal in, in this too. I mean, we're just scared since I think he's like one of the high. I think he's like the free, one of the highest ranking prince of the demons. As we see a uh, persona. Perona's, Perona's retainer be like, that's just insane. As they were like, what? There are then we have uh, Perona being like, they probably want to lure out the teams that are hi in hiding, but to add a collaboration required, that is quite a difficult task. And she's now suddenly very s serious and intelligent. I get that joke, her joke is gonna be the thing that she's like, goes from a hopeless element of the strap to a very cold and cut individuals. As her retainer seems to say, there she goes, so smart. Alright. So maybe she's not, I don't know. I guess they hang out as well. They were supposed to be like, only one demon would devise a twist this ruthless and spiteful. It's kind of like, yeah, it was most likely. God, it goes that thing that they are. <laughs> oh my god, I like it though, they're all like, as soon as something goes bad, they're like, oh yeah, sh that's right, Kyle goes off, made this, yeah, he fucking passed it. Which by the fact that he made this thing, but yeah, he's complaining about the money. I mean, it wasn't confirmed that it was a waste of a budget, but come on, let's be real, he's probably the one who said it. I'm very just, why are we wasting our budget on this? <laughs> and then we have the guy who's teaching, well, who's teaching Kyle is like, is it really okay to treat the principal like this? As Kyle is like, ha. Huh? Why not? It suits him. <laughs> I guess this is referring to all the times that Caligo has to suffer. <laughs> so by Sullivan and Opera, like this guy is payback. But yeah, anyways, they're gonna have a flashback of I think the arc where Caligo was trying to keep himself from becoming his humans for me again failed miserably. By the way, 
Jacob's gone, possibly? As then we have... If Asmodeus back, this is perfect. I have a bone to pick with that man. Alright, as then we have... Burn me and I was spawning kind. Which is so fair because Kalago easily defeated that uh, uh, Asmodeus about any problem. I think... As then we have the... I think either Sudan or Puna is ready to be like, he's on fire! Is that Puna? It's just so lovely! And she has a bunch of hot over. Look at that, it's gotta be a big transition thing. Is there a kind of being like, ah! Oh. Is there a bunch of steps? And it's. I suppose being, so be it. We all team up as we have. Ready? As we have like Sylveon, Zenith, and Klein and her retainer be like, ah! Oh. Like, oh, like, amazed. Well, I'll let you know what the retainer is thinking to right now because she's like, wait, what? <laughs> I okay, guess trying to comment on the fact that Clyde's trying to be badass yet he's totally not. And now they're gonna team up to seal off Sullivan. So I'm guessing that the whole failure is gonna come from you know, there. Not being able to fully see how things gonna come f from them being so that I guess that's where their hearts are gonna be popped all. Or something. I don't know. I, I, I think it's in the state of their hearts right now. I could see it like this is gonna be like a twist where, oh, we wanted your student for students to come and seal him off or something. I don't know really. I guess at least see. We will see it depending on the, what happens to the hearts. So then the final page, we actually see Slim in it. And it seems like he's at an actual container in a bubble. I guess that's what Kurgo's teacher, uh, teacher was actually referring to. It's putting our principal in a in a container full with bubbles while they're really the best fire's idea. <laughs> so yeah, end of chapter. Like I said, this is like a standard chat. Like this chapter is just there for comedy and to, you know, give us like a little bit more interaction, find more about characters. It's a pretty good characterization chapter. And plus makes the game a little bit more fun. And I love the fact that we can deal with the whole movie thing. Like I thought it was just like the first announcement to make the thing more exciting, but now it's actually going for a movie here. So yeah, it's pretty a decent chapter, all, all things considered. So yeah, anyways, this is the end of the chapter. I hope you tell me in the comments below what you think of this chapter. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos in the future. And that's it, I can't wait to, to see all of you mortals next time. Goodbye.